Yeah, yeah, me are like a book people. No, um, um, I call yeah, was co really up on a, a call had come in, that's what. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so I'm just saying this to say that. I don't blame the people, because if you go to the bank, you get the money, and you have to teach you, you know what I'm taking? You let me know so you can service the loan over a long period of time. Over 15 and 20 years. You might carry this for the first year or two, but you know, say, oh, your job stay and blah, blah, you know, even mind. But the bank give them the money anyway. Yeah. Because they know what they need to do. But the question is, whose responsibility mm. is it? Um, the bank responsibility. No, no, David, I can't them agree with you. Them, no, no, no. The bank share the due diligence and everybody who come in and want to buy a house. Like what the mother know. They didn't do that. At any time they can come up on the street, that the boy may have a job for a year, you know. And want that loan, blah, blah, blah. And it's okay, blah, I said, I give you the loan. But they must do diligence by you. They say, how long you're you working at that place, and which part you go after that, and where you're coming from. No, they didn't do that. Yeah. And the long run is the people, is the government, and my taxpayer money. Build them out, because they don't lose a cent while all the people lose them out. They don't tell them what is the person for. I agree that when you get a loan, you must be responsible for, you know, to service all the mortgage. But if me, if me come in your bank and say me want X dollars, you, the bonus is on you for the due diligence. If you give, if you give me the money, I'm going to take it. Now I'm going to oh, refuse that. I'm going to take it. If you, if you, you do diligence, the people would never get the money. Um, I, I, I am not that hundred percent blaming the people. The bank is the two shots I blame. The bank has a, a bunch of liars and thieves to all of them. <laughs> no, it's a serious thing. They are liars. Because them sweet up the people and tell them how it's bag of crap. When they might give them the loan, oh, 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 sweet them up. And guess what I'm saying? You know? The interest of them are people and the, uh, the mortgage. It wasn't a fixed interest. And that's uh, that so cowardly for the people. Eh? After four years or so, it inch up 3%. After 10 years, it inch up another 2 The man, I never uh, get that the mail about your mortgage gone up, you know. And, and insurance gone up. Mm. Which is not right. Because I get a house over here, you know. I mean, let me go to school when that go on over here. Mm. Come in 2007, right? Yeah. I mean, read up on it and learn what's going on and how it happened. And when you go get my house, you say to the man, you want a fixed mortgage interest. Mm -hmm. Right now, when we sign this document, you want to say the first thing that this, in, this mortgage interest rate can now move mm -hmm. the duration of the, of the loan. Right? And I saw me get mine. But Prior to that, they, they, they've never read the fine print said the mortgage rate is movable. They're just glad to them get there. Everybody who wants a house and glad to them get there. But me learn from that, and I said, it's not wrong to me. That my interest rate is fixed at 3.5%. Yeah. 2011, I get the house. And it don't move. Yeah. And I will pay them a car, and I don't want to talk them off my mortgage rate at 4 or 5%. It's minus 3.5%. Yeah. So yeah, as always, say you have to know where you do. That, ah, that's why I'm saying to you, uh, you, you can't always blame somebody. The problem is financial education is what is lacking in our schools. Financial yeah, education what? is lacking um, where we're concerned because if we had the education, if the people had the education to know that that was a possibility. Number one, they would not have either taken so much loan or they would not yeah, have taken that, any at all. Right. Huh? So let me ask you, so, so you're not blaming the lender who lend the money? You're not blaming them? Uh, no, the lender, if the lender came to your door and put a gun at your head and he says you have to take a loan, then I blame the lender. But David, listen to me now. Let me give you a chance. Listen to me. You're comparing apples and bananas with food. David, food. David, 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 listen to him. Give, like give me a... If you will at the bank and the bank man can you can take the loan. Who oh, you in a verse in a, in a, in a economics and all them something. He tell you all type of lies. And you who 
I I don't say some of the blame is not to be laid on on on, on them, but uh, what I'm saying is, we too have to do our our our. We have to know how much we can manage, how much we can take on. A lot of people they go, and they take on more that they can, than they can manage, believing. Text for instance, some people. Some people may go into to buy a house and they're going to feel that the house prices will always be going up. It just happened in Canada about two years ago and we're even feeling the crunch now. Right now it's gone way down because a lot of people were just buying and you know there's a man called Warren Buffett. He says when everybody's buying it's time for you to sell. When everybody's selling it's time for you to buy. Right? So it's a... Yeah, it's the 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 economy goes through various cycles. You have boom and bust. The stock market goes up, it goes down, right? Some people get in when it's going up and say, "Yeah, it's the greatest thing that," right? And another person go in when the stock market is heading down and they say it's the worst thing. Why? So. So it all depends on number one timing with some things, yeah. When it comes to money, you know, a lot have to do with timing and opportunity. Disconnected. I'm speaking to a friend of mine from England, from the United States. We're just discussing whose fault it is um, when 20, 2007, when the housing crisis hit. Well, who was to be blamed? Was it the uh, the people who went for the loan, or was it? the bankers who gave the loan <laughs> he's saying the bankers are to be blamed and um, others are saying that it is the people who are to be blamed because the bank never asked you to come and take a loan the bank simply have loans available and so you you should know how much loan you can manage so um, that's the question who is to be blamed for the financial crisis um, that people find themselves in you know that is uh, the question who is to be blamed well um, I don't know I don't know who is to be blamed. It's for everybody to this everybody to decide what decision they make when it comes to money. A lot of people make bad decisions and then they blame somebody else. But we have to count the cost. We have to know our position when we're going to do anything, right? We can't just decide to blame others. We have a responsibility. I'm trying to reconnect with David, but it seems as if we are um, disconnected permanently. Um, I hope that he will call back so we can continue part two of this conversation. <laughs> 